In mathematics, a symplectic vector space is a vector space V over a field F, for example the real numbers R, equipped with a symplectic bilinear form. A symplectic bilinear form is a mapping omega, V times VF that is bilinear, linear in each argument separately. Alternating omega v v equals zero holds for all v in v and nondegenerate omega u v equals zero for all v in v implies that u is zero if the underlying field has characteristic not two alternation is equivalent to skew symmetry. If the characteristic is two. The skew symmetry is implied by, but does not imply alternation. In this case every symplectic form is a symmetric form, but not vice versa. Working in a fixed basis, omega can be represented by a matrix. The conditions above say that this matrix must be skew symmetric, non-singular, and hollow. This is not the same thing as a symplectic matrix, which represents a symplectic transformation of the space. If V is finite-dimensional, then its dimension must necessarily be even since every skew-symmetric, hollow matrix of odd size has determinant zero. Notice the condition that the matrix B hollow is not redundant if the characteristic of the field is 2. A symplectic form behaves quite differently from a symmetric form, for example, the scalar product on Euclidean vector spaces. <laughs> Topic standard symplectic space equals the standard symplectic space as R2n with the symplectic form given by a non-singular, skew symmetric matrix. Typically omega is chosen to be the block matrix omega equals 0 i n minus i n 0 display style omega equals begin b matrix 0 and i underscore n i underscore n and 0 end b matrix wherein is the n times n identity matrix. In terms of basis vectors x1, xn, y1, yn, omega, x, i, y, j equals minus omega, y, j, x. I equals Delta I J Display style Omega X underscore I Y underscore J equals Omega Y underscore J X underscore I equals Delta underscore I J Omega X I X J equals Omega Y I Y J equals zero Display style Omega X underscore I X underscore J equals Omega Y underscore I Y underscore J equals zero. A modified version of the Gram Schmidt process shows that any finite dimensional symplectic vector space has a basis such that omega takes this form, often called a Darboux basis, or symplectic basis. There is another way to interpret this standard symplectic form. 
Since the model space R2N used above carries much canonical structure which might easily lead to misinterpretation, we will use «anonymous» vector spaces instead. Let V be a real vector space of dimension N and V its dual space. Now consider the direct sum W equals V V of these spaces equipped with the following form Omega X Ada Y She equals She X minus Ada Y display style omega x o plus eta y o plus she equals she x eta y. Now choose any basis v one v n of v and consider its dual basis v one v n. Display style v underscore one carrot asterisk l dots v underscore n carrot asterisk. We can interpret the basis vectors as lying in W if we write she. Topic v zero n e. Zero v taken together, these form a complete basis of W. X one x n y one y n Display style x underscore one L dots x underscore N Y underscore one L dots Y underscore N The form Omega defined here can be shown to have the same properties as in the beginning of this section. On the other hand, every symplectic structure is isomorphic to one of the form V V. The subspace V is not unique, and a choice of subspace V is called a polarization. The subspaces that give such an isomorphism are called Lagrangian subspaces or simply Lagrangians. Explicitly, given a Lagrangian subspace as defined below, then a choice of basis X1. Xn defines a dual basis for a complement by omega she yj equals delta ij equals topic analogy with complex structures topic just as every symplectic structure is isomorphic to one of the form V V, every complex structure on a vector space is isomorphic to one of the form V V using these structures, the tangent bundle of an n-manifold, considered as a 2n-manifold, has an almost complex structure, and the cotangent bundle of an n-manifold, considered as a 2n-manifold, has a symplectic structure, T, T M, P. T P M, T P M. The complex analog to a Lagrangian subspace is a real subspace, a subspace whose complexification is the whole space, W equals VJV as can be seen from the standard symplectic form above, every symplectic form on R 2 N 
Display style Math B R carrot two N is isomorphic to the imaginary part of the standard complex Hermitian inner product on C N Display style Math B C carrot N with the convention of the first argument being anti linear. Topic Volume form Let omega be an alternating bilinear form on an n-dimensional real vector space V, omega element of λ2 V. Then omega is non-degenerate if and only if n is even and omega n, 2 equals omega. Omega is a volume form. A volume form on a n-dimensional vector space V is a non-zero multiple of the n-form E1. n where E1, E2 n is a basis of V For the standard basis defined in the previous section, we have omega n equals minus 1 n 2 x 1 x n y 1 y n Display style omega carrot n equals minus one carrot n two x underscore one carrot asterisk wedge l dots wedge x underscore n carrot asterisk wedge y underscore one carrot asterisk wedge l dots wedge y underscore n carrot asterisk by reordering, one can write Omega N equals X one Y one X N Y N Display style omega carrot n equals x underscore one carrot asterisk wedge y underscore one carrot asterisk wedge l dots wedge x underscore n carrot asterisk wedge y underscore n carrot asterisk Authors variously define omega n or minus one n two omega n as the standard volume form. An occasional factor of n may also appear, depending on whether the definition of the alternating product contains a factor of n or not. The volume form defines an orientation on the symplectic vector space V omega. Topic: symplectic map. Suppose that V omega and W rho are symplectic vector spaces. Then a linear map F, V W is called a symplectic map if the pullback preserves the symplectic form, i.e. F rho. Topic Omega, where the pullback form is defined by F rho U V. Rho F U F V. Symplectic maps are volume and orientation preserving. Topic: Symplectic group. If V. 
Topic W. Then a symplectic map is called a linear symplectic transformation of V. In particular, in this case, one has that omega f u f v. Omega U V, and so the linear transformation F preserves the symplectic form. The set of all symplectic transformations forms a group, and in particular a Lie group, called the symplectic group and denoted by S P V or sometimes S P V Omega. In matrix form symplectic transformations are given by symplectic matrices. Subspaces Let W be a linear subspace of V. Define the symplectic complement of W to be the subspace W equals v element of v omega v w equals 0 for all w element of w Display style W carrot perp equals V in V mid omega V W equals zero M box for all W in W. The symplectic complement satisfies W equals W Display style W carrot perp carrot perp equals W dim W plus dim W equals dim V Display style dim w plus dim w caret perp equals dim v. However, unlike orthogonal complements, w w need not be zero. We distinguish four cases. W is symplectic if w w equals zero. This is true if and only if omega restricts to a nondegenerate form on W. A symplectic subspace with the restricted form is a symplectic vector space in its own right. W is isotropic if W W. This is true if and only if omega restricts to zero on W. Any one-dimensional subspace is isotropic. W is coisotropic if W W W is coisotropic if and only if omega descends to a nondegenerate form on the quotient space with W. Equivalently, W is coisotropic if and only if W is isotropic. Any codimension one subspace is coisotropic. W is Lagrangian if W equals W. A subspace is Lagrangian if and only if it is both isotropic and coisotropic. In a finite dimensional vector space, a Lagrangian subspace is an isotropic one whose dimension is half that of V. Every isotropic subspace can be extended to a Lagrangian one, referring to the canonical vector space R2N above. The subspace spanned by x1, y1 is symplectic. The subspace spanned by x1, x2 is isotropic. The subspace spanned by x1, x2, xn, y1 is coisotropic. The subspace spanned by x1, x2, 
Xn is Lagrangian. Topic: Heisenberg group. A Heisenberg group can be defined for any symplectic vector space, and this is the typical way that Heisenberg groups arise. A vector space can be thought of as a commutative Lie group under addition, or equivalently as a commutative Lie algebra, meaning with trivial Lie bracket. The Heisenberg group is a central extension of such a commutative Lie group algebra. The symplectic form defines the commutation analogously to the canonical commutation relations (CCR), and a Darboux Darboux basis corresponds to canonical coordinates in physics terms to momentum operators and position operators. Indeed, by the Stone von Neumann theorem, every representation satisfying the CCR, every representation of the Heisenberg group is of this form or more properly unitarily conjugate to the standard one. Further, the group algebra of the dual two a vector space is the symmetric algebra, and the group algebra of the Heisenberg group of the dual is the Weyl algebra. One can think of the central extension as corresponding to quantization or deformation. Formally, the symmetric algebra of V is the group algebra of the dual sim V. Topic K V and the Weyl algebra is the group algebra of the dual Heisenberg group W V. K H V. Since passing to group algebras as a contravariant functor, the central extension map H v, v becomes an inclusion sim v w v. Topic. See also. A symplectic manifold is a smooth manifold with a smoothly varying closed symplectic form on each tangent space Maslov index A symplectic representation is a group representation where each group element acts as a symplectic transformation.